guys again with my second video. I'm still so excited you guys and I'm so grateful that you guys watched um the last video. Um since the last video which was yesterday <laughs> um I got quite a bit of questions, um quite a few questions. Look at me, I can't even talk now. <laughs> um I got quite a few questions about my hair from a couple people out there in YouTube land. Um, YouTube world. Um, people were asking, asking me, you know, was this my real hair, or you know, was it a weave, was it a half wig, was it a wig? Well, um, this is actually a weave. It's a glue in. Um, <clears throat> about all of the products used um, for this style, just a slight, small insignificant just a little disclaimer I did buy all of these products myself um, even though this is my second video some people do um, get sent products and all of that stuff but obviously this is only my second video and um, you know no one's knocking down my door to send me you know products so um, I just wanted to let you guys know I did pay for everything that um, I used to do this style anyway the hair itself is Milky Way Fab 8 series um, in cotton candy, and it's also in a uh, number one, which is Jack Black. So, hope you guys can see that. Jeez. Mm. Okay, there we go. Milky Way. <laughs> Fab 8 series number one, cotton candy. Okay, now, this weave is glued in. My real hair is braided up, just this little small piece right here on the side. But, um, I use this product that is very great. It's wonderful. I love it. It has uh, brought back uh, me actually wanting to glue hair into my head because uh, I don't like glue generally. You know, even if you use uh, the glue remover and conditioner and oil sheet and all that other stuff, it still seems to get stuck in your hair and it takes forever to get out. So I found this product um, and it is so wonderful. I'm so glad I bought it. I, it was worth every penny. It's called Grow Protect Solutions. Okay. This is the 8 ounce um, bottle. Um, there we go. Okay, this is the 8 ounce bottle, and what I did, what it says, the bottle says to, um, you know, mold your hair, then um, put the Grow Protect Solutions on, let that dry for about 10 to 12 minutes, um, and go ahead with the style. So, what I did was I molded my hair, well, I braided up the side, I molded my hair into, um, you know, into a little ponytail, um, and then I put the growth protect solution on it. I let that dry for about 15 minutes just to be sure. Then I started gluing the tracks across the back like this. And then I put a, a few in the front. Um, you know, started going around like this. And then when I got closer to the top, I did a circle and a um, invisible part. I mean, invisible part. I'm so sorry. Uh, um closure piece yeah so um you know with curly curly hair it's easier to do a closure piece and it not really show you know depending on how good you can do a closure piece but um you know it it won't really show with the curlier hair you know curly hair types so um so yeah so I've been rocking this style for about four days now I love it it's so curly um, I'm definitely going to, um, probably buy this hair again, it's so great, um, you know, and it's not really painfully frizzy, actually, in the camera, it really doesn't look frizzy at all, it's not really frizzy, um, and I, yes, I do know that I have, um, colored rubber bands, and I did that on purpose, for the simple fact, the hair is jet black, my hair is jet black, and I just wanted a pop of color in there without actually having to um, color my hair or 
use colored pieces of hair. It's just something different that I want to do. So, you know, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it at all. You know, it's just my thing. I like it. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so I bought this, um, all of this stuff. I got the Girl Protect Solutions from a little site called SamsBeauty.com. Um, I bought quite a, quite a few things from them. This hair was not bought from them, unfortunately. But it was bought from um, a local beauty store. I paid about $13, $14 for it. It's not really painfully expensive. It comes in two bundles. You can use the two bundles and do your entire head. Like, you know, this is pretty full. You know, you can't really see track lines or anything. It's pretty full. So, you know, you can use one pack to do your whole head. And a lot of companies are um, realizing how, you know, the recession is really hitting us. So they're um, trying to be a little helpful. And um, as far as, like, some of the hair companies, they're doing, like, one pack will do the job type thing, you know. So um, I'm grateful for that, you know. Um, yeah, so... I got quite a few questions about my hair, so there's your your answers, you guys. I'm not trying to fake this off to be my real hair. You know, this isn't my real hair. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you are with that. Um, secondly, I was asked um, about um, my makeup. In the last video... You know, you could see it, but you couldn't really see it. This webcam kind of washes out my makeup. Um, let's see. Yeah, it kind of washes it out. Oh, you can, you can kind of see it. You can't really see it that well. It just looks like it's really light at the top, and then there's some darkness, smoky eye type thing going on. But actually, I have uh, quite a few colors on today. I have um, a highlight color here. It's Vanilla Veil by Dream Mint Mousse. Um, and I really, I never knew that Dream Mint Mousse made anything, but, uh, I mean, that Maybelline made um other mousse uh products besides their foundation. I love their foundation. But yeah, they make eyeshadow and I have a couple of them but I use two. Um double zero which is um vanilla veil and it's um a mousse a dream it's dream matte mousse ma uh Maybelline eyeshadow. And I also have tranquil rose on that's in the inner side here. And then I have a totally different, it's a, a regular eyeshadow. I, you can't even tell I mix a mousse and a, a powder eyeshadow um, to get. Get this. Um, you know, you can't even tell once you start blending. It's so pretty. But, yeah, I have purple out on the end right here. I always like to use a base color. Something that's <coughs> excuse me that's closest to my complexion, and I start out with that first, and then I you know take the other colors that I want to do. So I did the tranquil rose here, then I did purple out on the outer side, and then right here is the highlight. I did um, a double zero of an album. So keep those questions coming, you guys. Um, this video is probably a little bit longer than the last video, but um, keep those questions coming, keep those comments flowing, and have a great, great, great night, day, wherever you are. Have um, a great day, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, this is Queenification1, and I will see you guys in the very next video.